Hey guys, welcome once again to the Guy Blog Podcast. As always, this is your host, Orlando Rodriguez. And today we're talking MMA. Now, this podcast I like to do a little different than everybody does. Everybody likes to cover everything. I like to just cover things that interest me. And when something pops out, give my opinion on it. Right now I want to talk to you about, well, the UFC lightweight championship or the UFC lightweight title picture. So technically the UFC lightweight champion is Conor McGregor. Technically because he left to fight in boxing, hasn't come back and doesn't even have a date yet. Fine. Due to this, the UFC has made a match. Tony Ferguson versus Kevin Lee. Great match to make. Originally t- supposed to be Tony Ferguson versus Khabib Nurmagomedov, Nurmagomedov, but um, Khabib couldn't make weight, has had trouble making weight, gets injured, is out. So they made Tony Ferguson for- versus Kevin Lee. This is a very good match. I'm very interested. I'm a fan of Kakui, so if Tony Ferguson went, I think it's great for the UFC. It's great, obviously, for him, um, and I think it, it would add a lot of excitement and obviously put him in a direct line towards the unifying title match versus Conor McGregor. So that's great. However, Khabib has come out and said that, you know, he's feeling better. Khabib wants to fight the winner of this match. And I'm confused. Khabib, because he's the biggest Russian star in the biggest MMA promotion in the world, has been able to call, you know, his fights, basically say who he wants to fight. And I'm not saying Khabib is the type of person that wouldn't fight somebody, but, you know, there's been some people he said no to. And more importantly, his goal has been pretty simple, to get to the title picture and become champion. So that's great. And obviously, despite, you know, getting injured, not being able to make weight, his body shutting down, that should still be his goal. And I am not saying that it shouldn't be. Who am I to say that? But that can be your goal. But to want to, like, call out as politely or as nicely as you can, or professionally as you can, the winner of this match makes no sense for the UFC. Why? Are you really, really going to trust Khabib for a title match? Khabib has not shown that he is capable of consistently, professionally making the weight for this division. You know, not only that, not only does he not make weight, he gets seriously injured trying to make the weight. I mean, getting hospitalized. Possible organs shutting down. Don't know if that's true or not. That's what his teammate said, Luke Rockhold. But even if it's not that, it was bad enough that you went to the hospital without even consulting UFC doctors because you wanted to go to the emergency room. That's not just a bad weight cut. You know, so to see that Khabib cannot make the weight, he just should not be talking about titles. I understand that that calling out this match will keep his name out there and, you know, will keep him in the title picture. But you know what? You're the biggest Russian star in the UFC. You will always be in the picture because they want to put you... They want Russia. They'll want to do shows there. They want that market. You are the key to that market right now. Somebody else could come along and take that key. But... You're the key, you know, Dana White loves you, but for whatever reason, you can't make the weight. And as a fan, it is annoying to see a fight of yours start get, start to get promoted. I was excited for you versus Tony Ferguson. Khabib versus Tony Ferguson seemed like not just a good fight, an elite level fight. One of the best fights that can be put on at any division in all of the UFC. But dude, you can't make the weight. And then you get injured. 
and then for religious reasons, which nobody will blame you, you're off for, for a few months. Like, there's working around, and there's, like, too good business. It doesn't make sense to put Khabib in the title picture right away. At the very least, he should fight once in the lightweight division, not for the title, and be monitored to see how was the weight cut. Because it's not just that he, he'll make weight. It's about seeing, can he make the weight? Can he make it safely? Because if he struggles to make it, if he struggles to make it, I would not trust him to be at the top of a card by himself for the title because that title match can go to hell really quick. Just like his matches have gone to hell before. So it's interesting that, that he's still like confident enough in his status in the UFC. And I'm sure, you know, Dana White would love nothing more than to put him up there. But the truth is, Connor, when he comes back, if he wants to keep his lightweight championship, he's going to have to fight one of these guys, whoever has the title. They're talking about Connor versus Nate Diaz. And while that's kind of the fight to make, if you go by the rankings, if you give somebody an interim title and the champion is healthy, but he's just fighting somewhere else. When that champion comes back to fight in the UFC, if he's not fighting the person that has the interim title in his division, then I don't know what the hell you're doing. I really don't. Because this is what it should be. If you're going to have Conor fight Nate Diaz, then if Tony or Kevin win the title, the interim title, they shouldn't fight until the winner of that match is available. Because the interim title, the interim champion, should only fight the champion if the champion is available. You know, there shouldn't be two lightweight titles, you know, that are fighting simultaneously. Like, oh, I fought this month, this one fights the next month. No, they should meet each other. It makes no other sense for anything else to happen. Now, we know the UFC is all about the money fight. And Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor is the money fight. Fine, if they make that fight, Tony Ferguson, Kevin Lee, the winner, should wait for, for whoever wins that and be there to call them out because nothing else makes sense. Nothing else. So I, I don't know. Um, well, we do know which way the UFC is leaning, but the one thing that I hope they're not leaning towards is trusting Khabib again. Because when I read, and honestly, when I read and saw that Khabib is calling out, you know, potential title, you know, potential champions, I'm like, you're out of your mind. The skill set is there. Amazing fighter. He deserves to be able to call out whoever he wants to call out. He deserves to be able to do that. But, you know, you're not out because of an injury that happened in a fight. You're out because you keep getting injured. Outside of the fight game. Yes, it's training. Yes, it's weight. But come on. If you can't manage your weight professionally. I'm going to say what I say all the time about Johnny Hendricks. Get out. Go somewhere else. Go to another promotion with that bullshit. Don't be in the number one promotion in the world. At this level. You know, Khabib is not a man that's making 50 plus 50. He's not a man that's making 10 plus 10. He's not, he's making money. So if at this level that Khabib is at, you do not deem it as part of your professional responsibility to hire a nutritionist to help you make weight correctly each and every time after you know that you have issues making weight, then I don't know what you're doing, brother. I, I really do not know. But... The UFC should look at that and say, hey, Khabib didn't just make $20,000 in his last fight, so he might not be able to afford somebody, and it's difficult when you're managing your own weight. No, 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 no. We're paying Khabib a lot of money. Khabib should have a nutritionist. After the first time he had issues making weight, 
he should have hired a nutritionist to make weight the right way. Because as a professional, that's what he needs to have no excuses when he goes out there. And if he were to lose, be able to say, hey, I gave it my all. Right now, if he makes weight, but the way that he's been making it, and then he loses, he'll be like, oh, it was a bad weight cut. And, you know, I I didn't feel good. My body kind of shut down at one point. Yada, yada, yada. And I don't want that. I want elite fighters fighting at elite levels. With no elite excuses. Khabib has not been able to do that yet. Yes, he's a winner. He's won at every one of his fights. Inside the octagon is a winner. So it's sad to see a winner keep making himself a loser outside of the octagon. Wink, wink, John Jones. Making a loser himself out of the octagon by not even being professional enough to get to the fight. I know he wants to fight. I know he wants to be in the fight. But he's not doing everything he needs to to make it to the fight. And that is sad. He has the money. He has the team. He has the resources to do it. Meaning he can find out who's a good nutritionist. Heck, the UFC will give him somebody as long as he pays him. Like, what the heck, man? What is your problem? It's just freaking crazy. So... I'm looking forward to this Tony Ferguson-Kevin Lee matchup. I am not looking forward to Khabib being mentioned anywhere in that other than it should have been him instead of Kevin Lee. Looking forward to Conor coming back. Hopefully fighting, my hopes it's Kukui, but either or. Facing the elite of the division. He'll probably want to fight Nate Diaz because it's the money fight. But seeing what starts to happen with this division. But Khabib should not be named the top of it. He needs to fight somebody in the top eight. Yes. Somebody that has, he hasn't fought before. Yes. In the lightweight division. Yes. But to prove he can make the weight. He needs to fight somebody that's not, that's not holding a title or interim title. Nobody that's just like, whoever's supposed to be the next number one contender. You know. Or... Worst case scenario, Khabib versus the loser of the Tony Ferguson versus um, Kevin Lee fight. But if Tony Ferguson loses, I don't want it because it's oh, so many times Khabib versus Tony. And just Khabib can't make it. But hey, as long as Khabib is not fighting for the title yet, once he proves he can make the weight healthy, professionally, safely, then yes. But he hasn't proved that. He has to prove it in a fight before he goes for the title. That's all I think. I want to know what you guys think. As always, let me know. Orlando at theguyblog.com. That's the email at theguyblog on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, talk to you soon. Take care.